Shabbat Shalom. We're finishing the book of Genesis. We're at the last portion of the book of Genesis. It tells us of the end of the stories of our ancestors. Jacob dies at the beginning of the Torah portion, and Joseph is going to die at the end of the Torah portion. There is one very special moment at this Torah portion when Jacob blesses his grandchildren, Ephraim and Menashe. He blesses them before he blesses his own children, and he begins the blessing by saying, May God make you like Ephraim and Menashe. We still use this formula when we bless our children in a bar or a bat mitzvah, in a baby naming, in very special events. So for boys, we say, may God make you like Ephraim and Menashe. And for girls, we say, may God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. But we miss the point because Jacob is saying to Ephraim and Menashe, may God make you like Ephraim and Menashe. This is like if my child would be called James, and I will say, may God make you like James, not like Ephraim and Menashe. Jacob is not asking that his grandchildren will follow role models, but they will be, but he's asking that they will be true to themselves. Jacob's point, which is such a great Torah, such a great teaching, is that the most important thing in life is not to have a role model and to try to be like them, but to be true to who you ought to be, to what God made you to be. And if you do that, then you are blessed in your life and in your destiny. We always finish reading of a book by saying, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazak, be strong, be strong, and together we'll be stronger. Shabbat Shalom.